So I'd like to first also uh, pay my respect to the Wichibu people of the Bangjalong Nation, past and present, who were the tireless protectors of this land. We, as the newcomers, came in chains, enslaved by our own. We have been both the victims and perpetrators of massive destruction of this land. It was, uh, it was only comparatively recently that the spirit of the land through Aquarius started to flow through us. In the 70s, we knew hope in a new headspace with heartfelt feelings, heeding the call, needing healing, and the freedom to hump as they please, came here as hippies and became heroes. These people of color and creed joined the original people to form a new tribe imbued with the spirit of the land and they objected to the destructive habits that was there. They objected, resisted, protested and protected the land against the growing greed, the old game of gambling everything. This new gathering of sorts became known as the Rainbow Tribe. The new warriors of peace made their mark at protesters' fall in the battle for Tirania. It is clear that the first campaign was about protecting the forests. It was not just a protest. But the scheming media guardian of the status quo tagged them as mere protesters, as lazy, Lay about liars, bludgers, no do-gooders. So today, as the greatest threat to our beautiful surroundings, our forests, our green fields, our precious water and clean air confront us, the word protester and protest have become inadequate to describe our response and our reaction. The tag of being a mere protester play into enemy's hands. The negative connotation, the branding, weakens our public image and portrays us as a loud minority. Protesting also does not associate the movement with solutions or remedy. It seems that protesting is a temporary activity that eventually dies off, never to be heard of again. The first Gulf War and the Iraq War were but mere protests. Protecting however, as an ongoing quality, a long-term commitment and involvement. Protecting is a long-term objective that requires organizing, planning, ongoing vigilance, requiring time and resources. It is persistence, endurance, perseverance, and dedication. It is clear now that the game is changing and that the threat is everywhere. CSG is spreading like an entangled web, and there are other serious threats as well. We are under siege from open-cut coal mines, from gold mines, indiscriminate logging, and inappropriate development. The name game will be crucial. This new reference will give us a fresh start and will have us leading the way with the media playing catch-up. As protectors, we encompass everyone. We do away with labels such as hippies, yappies, bikies, rednecks, and so on. The urgency of the threat we face forces us to recognize in a way to be inclusive of everyone. As rainbow warriors, we have many tasks from the front line to providing support, and activities such as writing letters and submissions, cooking, cleaning, providing logistics, and even well-wishing. This tribe of peaceful protectors is the only one that can win. As protectors, we allow others to operate in the background where they are needed. We don't all have to be marching in the streets. We can contribute in a thousand ways. There is no either, neither, or no. Division only exists in the various tasks we take, we take on. As protectors, we only have a division of labor, not of hearts or minds. 
It was the protectors who saved the Rania Creek. It was the protectors who stopped the Vietnam War. Protectors see the bigger picture and can add the foresight for paradigm change. They can think and plan for sovereignty, for real democracy, for engagement and decision making. They don't just wait for politicians to act, they act. The road for protesting into protecting is now. It is the protesters who have forced politicians to listen, protectors who have spread the word about the dangers we face, who have organized local communities, and protectors who are making out to create outposts in towns infiltrated by rapacious companies. Being a protector empowers and legitimizes. Now the media headlines will be protectors force mine closure and not just protesters for smart closure. It will be the new way to get the point across. This is a fresh start, a jump to freedom from media manipulation, a new strategy, a way of pooing and peeing, perhaps on the mainstream media that has so, for so long undermined people's power. Viva la revolution! <laughs>